two BYU players that return with NCAA tournament experience off of a mission. Luke, nice to have you in Vegas, What's man. Up, Luke? Thanks. Good to be here. You ready to lead the Cougars in scoring this yeah. year? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that's my role, but... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, how's, how's, your, how's your three-point shot post-mission? Hey, it's actually pretty money. I don't know how many times I'm going to be able to shoot it, but <laughs> yeah. I think it feels pretty good. Over under well. one and a half three-point attempts from you this year. One Over, over, over under, under one, one and, and a half. half. Maybe you could talk to Coach Rose a little bit. <laughs> He's coming up. Let's see, yeah. Let's see what, Can we what get he'll Luke at jack. least two yeah. three-point shots? At least two. I just got to get the ball in my hands at the last second of the half. End of the half shot clock. Right. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. End of the shot clock. Okay. Like, oh, it's in my hands. I have to shoot. <laughs> it. Right. Yeah. And then I'll cash it out and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Luke, uh, you have garnered some attention for you know really toning up and, and looking good. How close to peak physical condition in your own mind are you right now? <laughs> I don't think I'm very close at all, but I think I've been, I have been very blessed in my time since I've been back. I think I've been able to take advantage of, of the amazing re resources we have. I mean, one being the staff and then also just the facilities that we have, um, creates easy access for anyone to get in there and get shots up and, and work out. So it's been really nice. What was that like to come back to the annex and the upgraded Marriott center? Unreal. Yeah, unreal. I mean, you can get in there literally anytime you want, which is just something unheard of. If I wanted to get shots up before, who knows? There might have been a devotional, and I'm over in the RB, and I'm wearing a tank top, and so they kick me out. And, you know, you never really know. <laughs> you never knew what you were going to get before. So with the with the annex, it, it makes it really easy, and I feel I feel good. Okay, it's been about a week and a half of kind of the formal, the season starting practices. How has that gone for the team so far? Awesome. Yeah, awesome. I mean, it's a little intimidating, I think, for anyone as they make that transition to real practice just because of the length of time that you're actually on the court. Um, but our bodies feel good. So it's nice because you know what time of day the main um, brunt of, of your workout is coming. With off-season training, you're there in the morning or the afternoon, you're bouncing between a lot of different things, and it's hard to kind of program your body. But once you get into season, you start um, getting a feel for how things are going to be and We've been playing really well. So, How would you compare the state of the program when you left to the state of the program right now post two-year LDS mission? I'm going to start with the word different, <laughs> um, at least. I mean, the coaching staff, the players, just everything's different. I mean, I came back to essentially a completely new roster and new coaching staff. So... It's just been fun to, over the summer, get to know the guys for the most part, um, get a feel for their game, and, and then finding your place where you fit in and where you can best contribute. And the good thing about the system that we have put in right now is that everyone's going to contribute. Everyone has a piece to this. And um, you can see how everyone really is essential. And so I, I hope that our talents can be on display from the very get-go and that we can be a... Um, pretty dynamic team once we hit the floor. To me, it feels like this is the biggest schematic change that BYU's made since Dave Rose took over. Uh, Terry Nashif was on the staff in some form the whole time until now. Now Heath Stroyer's in. So what kind of difference has he made, and what schematically is different from the team before your mission? Schematically, um, you're going to see a lot more balanced half-court offense. You're going to see some some more clock used and defensively there's been a whole re you know recall I think I obviously wasn't here for the past two seasons so it's hard for me to compare what things looked like last year to this year but I have watched some games and I can already tell that that the pace of the game is going to change a lot just due to um, several changes that that Heath has brought from some of his ideas and that they've collaborated on because the coaching staff works as a team and I think they've done a really good job. When you say pace, do you mean BYU on offense or on defense even? I think on both ends of the floor. I think because your defense flows into your offense and your offense into your defense. And you see that in practice. The better defense we play, the more stops you get in a row, the more naturally things start to flow on offense. So when we're communicating and playing really well on defense, for whatever reason, magic happens and the shots fall. Let's talk about the stops because Heath Troy has talked about this thing that is big in the NBA as well, which is let's get three stops in a row mm -hmm. three different times. A that's kill. kind of the goal. A, a kill. A kill. Yeah. So tell us about that. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things that he says all the time. Um, and it's, it's nice because 
by saying some dorky phrase like a kill, it, <laughs> it gets everyone on board. They remember and they have it really present in their mind. They're like, ah, oh, wh where are we at? So if you have one stop, it's, oh, let's get a couple more. If you have two, oh, let's get one more. And if you miss that one, it's like, we missed our shot. We got to get a kill next time. So it keeps you motivated to getting, you know, three stops in a row, which is huge. Yeah. Get a kill. Get a kill. kill. Uh, now it's volleyball. It takes the yeah. intensity level uh, up a few notches. He takes the intensity level up. Yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> Luke Worthington of BYU Basketball <laughs> with us on BYU Sports Nation live from Las Vegas. We'll finish with this. You and Dalton Nixon are the only two players on the roster right now. Ryan Andrus. Oh, Ryan Andrus. Don't count him out. That's okay. my roommate. Okay. Three that have NCAA tournament experience if you will right how much do you discuss that or think about that and and have conversations with the guys about getting back to that point i think experience in general is a really good thing i also think um going to the ncaa tournament is very unique um and it's something that every basketball player who gets to play college basketball dreams of i mean the ncaa tournament is where everyone wants to be at the end of the year and I think with us having gone there with the players that we've gone with and knowing what the chemistry needs to be like, it's it's going to help this team a lot because it's, I mean, just, just like we've been saying, we've been there. So it, I think we'll be able to get the other guys on board chemistry-wise and get the team clicking so that we know what our goal is, what our end, our end goal is. All right, Luke Worthington, great to have you with us, man. I know this nice is a quick here. trip for you. At least yeah. the temperatures are nice, right, for a few hours. Yeah, it's nice. I'm sure I'll probably be in here most of the time, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's nice outside. Roughly uh, 68 degrees. Yeah. Part, of, part of the gig. Part yeah. of the gig. All right, Luke, let's give you some karma for the approaching BYU Sports uh, Coug basketball season. Cougar tip-off next Wednesday. Can't wait. It's yeah. going to be great. When Luke leads the Cougars in scoring. Shoot a three in the, the Cougar, Cougar tip-off tip and then just like... <laughs> You know, shout out to us on the uh, <laughs> court side. There. And then I come off the floor and everyone's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> but we won't be. That's what matters. We will still love you. Good. We will love you. And the masses will. Thanks, Luke. Appreciate